As 2014 draws towards a close, the PGA Tour of Australasia heads to Sydney for one of its marquee events, the prestigious Emirates Australian Open Championship. The Harbour City is unmistakably Australia's face to the world, the gateway to the land down under. Home to iconic landmarks such as the Opera House and that famous bridge, Sydney is also renowned for its natural beauty and of course, those stunning beaches. And along with Sydney, the Australian Golf Club was the birthplace of the National Open and this year will host the championship for the 18th time since that inaugural staging back in 1904. It is a course steeped in history, one that over time has lured the greatest names that golf has to offer. And once more in 2014, the modern day stars will grace the fairways at the Australian Golf Club. Unquestionably, the headline acts are not only two of the top players in the game, but also the men who waged that epic battle 12 months ago. There's Australia's hero, world number three, Adam Scott. The 2013 US Masters champion was tantalisingly close to a clean sweep in his homeland last year. Revenge can only come by having his name engraved once again on the coveted Stonehaven Cup. Standing in his way as he did at Royal Sydney, world number one, Rory McIlroy. The Northern Irishman has taken the golfing world by storm in 2014, <laughs> capturing two majors along the way. He returns down under as defending champion. But the big guns had better be wary of fresh-faced Texan, 21-year-old Jordan Speed, one of the game's hottest young stars. The youngest player to win on the PGA Tour in 82 years. In addition to Adam Scott, there's plenty of homegrown talent in the mix as well. Matt Jones and Stephen Vodich are both coming off breakthrough seasons on the US Tour. And then there's the men who've already captured this title. Jeff Ogilvy, the 2006 US Open and 2010 Australian Open champion. John Sendon, who lifted the Stonehaven Cup in 2006. Both are winners on the PGA Tour this year. The list goes on. Dual Australian Open champions Greg Chalmers and Robert Allenby, along with Craig Parry, all striving to relive that feeling of becoming their nation's champion. And then there's Nick Cullen, the 30-year-old South Australian, fresh from a breathtaking charge to his biggest moment in golf in last week's Masters in Melbourne. Tradition, heritage and history. Words that epitomise this fabled championship which has stood the test of time. And another name will this week be added to the glorious Stonehaven Cup honour roll. Welcome to Sydney. This is the Emirates Australian Open Championship. The story of this great club spans three centuries, not so the Australian Open, but it's not far behind. In 1904, the very first Aussie Open was hosted here, and it was won by Englishman, the Honourable Michael Scott. Well, he took the trophy back to England, and it took the club a long time to track it down, until 2005, in fact, and now it holds pride of place in this wonderful clubhouse. This is a replica, this is the real deal, and they are very, very old. The history of this mighty course makes for a gripping read. Founded in 1882, the Australian has survived fires, flood, drought and vandals. An ever-evolving masterpiece, it's been relocated, rebuilt, redesigned and renovated. The legendary Alistair Mackenzie of Augusta National and Royal Melbourne fame gave the course a facelift in 1926. Norman von Neider, Kel Nagel and David Graham achieved great deeds here. Such is its reputation, it's a magnet for the country's most powerful. Prime Ministers frequent the fairways. Woven into the Australian's fabric are tales of triumph and tragedy. Blazers, 50 years apart, twice destroyed the clubhouse. It's believed the fire began during renovations to the 100-year-old building. But the members' resolve never wavered. Whilst it looks a little doubtful now, I think we're going to try still to have the open. They did host the 82 Open and Bob Shearer won it. The course has welcomed and tormented the game's finest, asked Brett Ogle. Well, just as painful was the two-shot penalty. Greg Norman knows too. He stumbled into one of its many pitfalls. 
but the shark was often its master. He won the Open there in 1996. Norman monstered the Australian, his work around the greens faultless. Rolling the slope, the slope here. Look at this. That is just a superb roll shot. Norman, back to back and a winner by eight. In that field, 18 years ago, a baby-faced 20-year-old Tiger Woods. But this great course and its members have a love affair with the Golden Bear. It's a star-studded cast. Jack Nicholas knows his way around the Australian. He designed it. That he did. And in the 1970s, he also dominated the Open, winning three times at the Australian. Jack's friendship with Kerry Packer proved a boon for the club. Perhaps not as enduring the now infamous party hole, which came and went loudly. Of the 17 Australian Opens, the latest winners are remembered fondly. Peter Lonard's a Sydney product. He was running hot in 2004. Get in, it's going to hold it. Oh, oh, you're joking. That could be it. It took only another three years for the Open to return to the Australian, and this time there could be no more popular winner. Look at that. That is a big, big putt, and I think he knows. Craig Parry lived only a few kilometres away. He'd been a frequent Australian Open bridesmaid. So, Craig, congratulations. Oh. You are the Australian oh. Open champion. That was 2007. It's been too long, but now we're back. A course that is steeped in history, that has lured the greatest names in this great game. Rest assured, it will be an Australian Open for the ages.